Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Well, today we're making it count with healthy mushroom soup. <laughs> Now, you know, canned soups can be pretty sketchy when it comes to nutritional value. They can be high in sodium and fat. Yes, well, today we have full control of the ingredients and we are not, I repeat, not throwing the salt shaker in our pot or that heavy cream. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Our no cream mushroom soup uses some delicious, lower calorie, yes. lower fat ingredients, yes. which keeps our soup healthier. It really does, and this soup is good for weight loss, diabetics, bariatrics, and just overall low fat diets. And one of our favorites is heart healthy. So that checks all of my boxes. It does. Mushrooms themselves are packed with nutritional value. You know, they contain almost no calories. They're high in protein, fiber, plus cholesterol free. That's excellent. Absolutely. So with our soup, there's no need for butter or other ingredients that diminish the healthy benefits. So that makes our soup perfect choice. Yes, it does, Mom. And we use non-fat Greek yogurt to create this lusciously creamy, delicious mushroom soup. Greek yogurt is high in potassium, mm -hmm. protein, calcium, while being low in cholesterol, and it's fat-free. Let's get started. We're going to heat our oil in a large pot over medium heat. We're going to add our onions and saute until translucent. Add our garlic, and we're going to continue to saute for a little bit more. Add extra garlic. Add our mushrooms. Now this is where it gets interesting. We're gonna add our mushrooms and herbs. We're gonna cook those until the juices release. The mushrooms will release their juices. The juices evaporate and the mushrooms start to brown. Next, we'll pour our stock or broth, whichever one you decide to use, in, into the pot and we'll mm -hmm. stir to combine. We'll bring that to a simmer and then we'll reduce the heat just to keep it simmering but not boiling. Yes. Now, we'll do that and stir in occasionally for about 20 minutes. Next, we'll turn off the heat and allow the soup to stop simmering. And we're going to measure out a cup of the soup's liquid into a separate bowl. Now, we're going to add yogurt into this bowl where we're going to temper it, so we'll add it slowly into this bowl and whisk to mix thoroughly. Then we'll add that mixture back into our main soup bowl and we'll stir well to combine. We won't bring it back to a boil, but if it needs to be warmed up, you can warm it just ever so slightly. Well, this could be served with a simple salad, even crusty bread, croutons, or even get really healthy, roasted veggies, or even just plain old steamed veggies. I love those ideas, and when you keep it fresh and new, yes, you'll stay the course. That is very true. There you have it, more healthy, flavorful, and delicious recipes for you and your family. Yes, and don't forget to leave a like and follow us, the Berry Girls, for healthy, flavorful, and soupy recipes. <laughs> and when you try these at home, please leave us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. <laughs>